Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, rather unusual uh, Land Rover Defender 110 County Station Wagon, 1992 on a K. Um, rather unusual in that it's completely original, apart from two rubber bungs on the, uh, on the scuttle end, because it's, uh, it's only had one owner since it was three months old. Uh, and prior to that it was um, a dealer demonstrator. Uh, we've just bought it direct from the last owner. Um, they've had it, as I say, since, um, since the end of 1992. So, um, as I say, it's about as original as you can get, really. Uh, finished in blue. Never had any paintwork. Uh, standard county station wagon spec. Um, it also got uh, factory steering guard, which it has to be said is a bit bent. It's underneath the front bumper there. Someone's tried to tow with it, which is not what they're designed to do. They're designed to stop uh, uh, rocks hitting the, um, hitting the steering. But uh, it's still usable. It's just uh, a, little bit, um, a little bit bent under there. Um, it's also got uh, the proper county side steps for all, uh, all four doors. It's got sunroof. Uh, it's a full 12 seater this one. Seat belts in the front and the middle, uh, but correctly actually no seat belts in the, uh, the rear transverse seats. Um, but that's, uh, that is actually correct like that. Uh, tow pack with um, both agricultural, pintle and what looks like, yeah, and ball as well. And electrics. Tailgate mounted spare wheels, it should be. Um, but as I say, it's a, it's a completely standard Defender 110 County Station wagon. Well, let's go around and pick out the good bits and bad bits. It hasn't been used for any serious off-roading, but um, uh, they have used it for uh, sort of light duties and stuff uh, on a farm and pulling a trailer a lot over the years. So, uh, but it's in, um, it's in very good shape for all that. So the paintwork is completely original. Um, very dent free apart from uh, the driver's door after a little argument apparently with a horse. Um, but aside from that, to say, it's all nice around the front end here. A few scratches on the bonnet leading edge, some quite big deep scratches here. Um, but the rest of the bonnet is all in uh, good shape and there's a couple of big scratches just here above the, um, the near side headlight. Um, front bumper could benefit from a repaint really, it's getting a bit, uh, it's like lost some of its paint. Um, looking down the near side, all looks very straight and clear and correct and by Land Rover standards anyway down there, not too bad at all. Um, a few scratches just on the edge of the, um, the near side front wing. And it is very slightly dented, just sort of in here. It's dented a little bit just there. Hasn't broken the paint though. It's just sort of slightly, um, slightly depressed just there. Obviously a slight argument with a tree or something at some point. Um, rest of the near side front wing is good. The screen um, has got a couple of uh, chips in it that look as if they've been filled. That one there um, and that one there. Certainly the big one looks like it's been filled and injected, so I wouldn't expect too many problems with that. Um, roof is all fine. Uh, scuffle is, is very original, starting to delaminate a little bit up here and rust a bit just underneath, the above the flap here, just along here. And, um, <coughs> and there's a sort of a large rubber bung in here, which uh, I'm told was because it used to have a big work light on it on the, uh, um, on the scuffle, which uh, when they took off, they put uh, rubber bungs in there instead. Um, so just starting to sort of bubble up a bit around here, obviously where the bungs have been in there, I guess. Um, just starting to bubble up a bit around here, but it's all sort of, uh, all looks pretty good and solid still. <clears throat> a post looks good. Um, nothing to worry about there. That's all in very good shape. Um, near side mirror has seen better days. There's a couple of cracks in the uh, in the casing, and the actual mirror, the lens has been um, has been replaced with another one, which has subsequently cracked. They're only about twenty quid from Land Rover. The complete mirror. Mirror top, actually, I think, from memory. So a new one of those wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be difficult to source. Um, near side door, a bit of electrolytic reaction on the bottom edge uh, on the near side front door, but otherwise pretty good. And a very, very slight depression just there on the barrel side, but no more than that. Um, Interior-wise, survived very well, as you'd expect, given its mileage. It's done less than 100,000 miles. Um, all the headlining's all intact. doesn't look too saggy, actually, the headlining. Um, there's a few bits of hay and stuff inside the car, which we'll try and... Uh, vacuum out we have done done some of it but not all of it front seats are excellent no wear or problems at all there the only thing that hasn't survived is the footwell carpets they never do in these counties they've been replaced with um, with rubber mats uh, but the rest of the dash is all good uh, and it's all relatively clean by uh, by Land Rover standards perhaps a valet wouldn't go amiss but um, it's not bad at all really hasn't been used to carry anything really dirty and nasty just hay by all accounts um, near side door frame is pretty good yeah nothing wrong with the frame on the near side front door Fine in the corners. Yeah, that's all good. Looking in the near side rear compartment here. 
again all very good indeed in here seats are nice carpets are nice um, nothing nasty up the sides at all uh, the near side rear door is just starting to is rusting the, the, the base of the window here which is where they always tend, tend to go because they're not open very often um, but the again base of the near side door which is the, the problem area is, uh, is good that's no problem at all and it all looks nice in there shuts nicely bit of electrolytic reaction and paint loss on the um, on the bottom of the uh, the near side rear door um, that's just a polish mark near side rear wing is fine it's all good up there just a bit of paint loss coming up on the uh, on the tub top trim bits but uh, as I say it is um, it's what 19 years old now so uh, and I say not been uh, not been got out or fiddled with at all around the tail end uh, the cross member has had some plating apparently that was for the uh, for the tow bar mounts um, for the MOT not I don't think it was this MOT there's a couple of MOTs ago but there's a couple of uh, plates on the uh, on the back of the cross member to strengthen it um, otherwise all looks good around the tail end bit of electrolytic reaction up here just around the um, near the hinge oh, sorry near the latch but inside here in the back again totally original totally on at um, these mats I guess go in the middle compartment um, but the seats are all here the jacks all there the headlining's all nice as I say it's you know about as good as you're fine really we just need to get rid of some of this some of this, <laughs> some of this hay in here but um, the tailgate Again, tailgate feels spot on, no worries there at all, and shuts nicely. Down the uh, down the offside, which I'm not sure if we shut the driver's door properly, or if it's just sitting a little bit proud. No, it does sit a little bit proud. Um, down the offside again, offside rear wing is fine, all looks, apart from say a couple of dents in the driver's door, all looks pretty straight and clean and correct. Offside rear wing is all good, around the glass is all fine, up on the roof is good. Um, offside rear door is pretty good there's some electrolytic reaction up here and again on the base of the driver's door now one thing I can't open the dry, the, uh, the offside rear door from either the inside or the outside I think we need to uh, um, not sure quite why not but I can't open it from the inside either so uh, that seems to have um, seems to have stuck somehow so obviously needs to uh, needs to be taken apart um, Offside front door, as I say, there's a few dents up, a bit dented there and there, apparently where a horse uh, backed into it, and a bit dented round here as well. But a um, bit of electrolytic reaction up here on the top. Uh, but that's all good, roof is nice. Um, inside here again on the driver's side, it's spot on. The driver's seat is, uh, is in great shape. Um, it's all nice up there. Oh, the, the check strap has come, come off on the driver's door. Should be attached under there but it's not attached anymore and again the driver's door is spot on along here that's really good yeah driver's door frame is fine as well uh, carrying on a post is fine um, offside scuttle end a little bit of sort of bubbling and paint loss and stuff around here but it all seems to be still pretty uh, pretty solid but um, might need attention in a couple of years possibly that if needs be um, Offside front wing is fine, just some paint loss on the offside front eyebrow, just along here, uh, a section of paint loss. That's about it, as I say, don't come more original than this, I'm afraid. Um, my name's Simon, you can reach me on 0771 906 9353, or in the office on 0118 946 3352, or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co. UK. Uh, we take debit cards and Visa and MasterCard credit cards with a 2% surcharge. We can take part exchanges and we can ship it anywhere you like in the world. Certainly, the, obviously, at a cost, but uh, uh, certainly the UK and Europe is uh, not a problem at all. I well, know the rest of the world, really. Anyway, I'm gabbling. Um, that's it. End.